this is the psychedelic title effect for Final Cut Pro 10. When you first apply it, this is what it looks like. You can create a lot of different looks and effects with this. Uh, there's uh, one thing I need to go over though, it's a little weird. For some reason, in the drop shadow section, the drop shadow scale occasionally disappears. And sometimes the only way to get it back is to start over again and reapply the effect. So if you're going to do a drop shadow scale, you should do it in a fashion that you know you can get it done early. And a lot of times you might not be using the drop shadow at all. I mean, it's just there for an extra little effect. So let me go on. The bounding box for this is basically the action safe zone. And the reason why it's larger than the title safe zone is because if you move the text too close to the borders of this zone, there will be some clipping action for the effect. And there's really no way to get around that except to make the text area large enough to accommodate this kind of effect. First parameter is the font. And I'm going to just switch this over to one that I'm particularly like for this effect. It's not the standard default because I don't know whether or not you're going to have it on your system. You should have Super Claritin as part of the Final Cut Pro 10 font set, which will also be for the Motion 5 font set. But this one makes a really nice font for this effect. And so we can see this better. I'm just going to blow this up. Now, there are two different kinds of outlines. There's a regular outline and what I call the double outline. And you can control the regular outline with the outline width. And then the double outline size to take this out. And if you run out of room here, you can grab a hold of this number and just push this up. The opacity is here for either. Uh, you can do an outline blur if you want. It's okay. Something like that. Not a big fan of that, but I threw it in there just for completeness. You can blend the double outline with the background to create different effects. That's good. Color burn will be good here. And the font and outline colors are set up to be gradients. These offer the greatest latitude for coloring. And if you need extra colors, you just click on the gradient and add most of this stuff you probably won't need to use very often, but the gradient part is a big deal, especially for this kind of thing. And the same thing for the outline color. Sometimes it's best to go with a complementary color. So, let's see, orange. No, I'll just go with something like that. And then you know, however you want to do this. Now underneath the gradients there is a way to adjust the outer outline coloration by changing the hue. You can boost up the saturations and the value. And if I try a different effect here, right. Let's take the opacity down a little bit. 
Okay. You can use the alignment to arrange this on the screen. You can see that there's some clipping there. If you run into this problem where you have to back it off the edge here, you can use the offset and pull it back in until you get all of your effect. For this kind of effect, a tight tracking usually works really well. And let me get back to this and let's dial this down some. And bring this down. And pull this back in the center. And reset the offset. You can rotate. Notice it rotates just the letters. Slant. Face line. And the drop shadow. So let's see how this works. like it. Hope you can find some good use for it. And I'll catch you on the next one.